dear students today we'll be learning math subject students you all will be learning a new topic in maths a new concept in maths which is broad and narrow so do you all know what is broad and narrow let me explain you narrow means small as you all can see narrow means small in size this is narrow which where else this is broad broad means wide big as you all can see the plank over here wooden plank is there this is small in size it is thin in size right so it is called as narrow where else this plank is wide in size so it is called as broad i hope so you all are getting me let me explain you with one more example as you all can see these are the paint brush right yes so come on tell me guess which one is narrow over here which brush is narrow is this brush narrow or is this brush narrow yes absolutely this brush is narrow which is small in size where else this brush is broad it is wide right yes so now over here there is there is a picture of valley this is a valley so come on tell me which valley is broad is this valley broad or is this valley broad yes absolutely this is broad this is wide as you all can see in between these two mountains there is a wide space where else this is narrow there is a small space in between these mountains so this is narrow and this is broad now come on tell me which road is broad and which road is narrow is the road on left hand side broad no the road on left hand side is narrow it is small road whereas the road on right hand side is broad very good you all are getting it now these are the pencils as you all can see this pencil is small it is thin so it is narrow whereas this pencil is wide it is wide and so it is broad right yes now there is a example of tree this tree is broad as you all can see it is wide whereas as this tree is thin it is small and so it is called as narrow very good so dear students i hope so you all have understood the concept broad and narrow thank you